Hey guys, thanks for tuning in, no matter how you tuned in, whether it was live, whether it was online, you're here, you're watching this, and thank you. Uh, we just looked at this Christmas Eve, Luke chapter seven, a centurion, uh, a leader of leaders, a, a Roman um, army type guy uh, that has faith. He didn't let power get to his head. He, he actually used his, his position and his power and his money, all those things to actually serve other people and help other people. What a lesson for us. Uh, and so he, uh, he's a man of faith. He talks about his faith. He, he articulates his faith into Jesus. And, and Jesus has this emotion. He marvels at his faith, which is so weird to say, right? Uh, so we said, let, let faith uh, ignite our emotions is how we kind of uh, not concluded our All the Feel series, but how we continued it. And so this Christmas season, uh, you have the time. You're going to be around different people at Christmas. Uh, how can faith be on the forefront? How can faith give you a sense of a marvel? It could be a present, it could be, could be a loved one. It could, you know, there's so many things that can give you a sense of marvel. There's also so many things that can, you can be right. You can hold your rights to other people. You can have these family dramas and you can walk away being vindicated. Um, but that's not gonna give you a sense of marvel. What would it look like to have a loved one around the table say yes to relationship with Jesus for the first time ever? Hopefully that will give you a sense of marvel. What would it look like to have a child that used to be, that used to be connected from God, that's now far from God, but you've been praying, you've been working, and now is coming back to God? Wouldn't that give you a sense of marvel? And so I just want to encourage you to marvel over what is actually important this Christmas season uh, and letting faith be ignited in other people. Peace.